Hi. This video was going to be a very sad and miserable video about how not as a wonderful time I had it sitsy as I thought I was gonna have, but I've spent the last half an hour, 45 minutes being very, very self-indulgent and re-watching videos that I've put up over the last two years and it's made me feel super nostalgic and super rejuvenated I'm gonna say and a lot less hopeless than I have been feeling over the last week in a bit since Sam and I came home from London. I just want to preface this with Summer in the City wasn't bad by a long shot. I cannot wait to go back to Summer in the City again next year. It's not put me off going at all. I think part of it was that it was hyped up so much because it was the 10th anniversary that when we got into the like expo hall thing, I was kind of like, oh, is that it? It was still wonderful and exciting and there was a lot to do, but it just wasn't as, oh, I don't know what the word is, full as I thought it was gonna be like, there were loads of consoles and stuff for people to play on and there was this like bus, adventure bus thing that people could run around on and there was a couple of rides that are always there or have been since I've been going and different things like that but it's, uh, nothing kind of took my breath away. It was like the last city I'd been to just with Nintendo Switches. Hopper! So yeah, that was kind of a, an underwhelming experience and that for me really set the tone for the weekend. I went into it being like, holy shit, this is Sam's first and if he didn't like it, maybe his only city that he's ever gonna go to and it's gonna be super underwhelming and I've been hyping it up and hyping it up and hyping, uh, uh, hyping it up since I got back from the last one and I was just like, oh, oh, this, uh. I don't know. And one word that's been floating around a lot since bef just before we got to London up until now and probably still will be after this video is edited, uploaded and all that jazz is inadequacy. From the moment we walked into the XL, it really hit me how out of place that I felt. And I really do think that a big part of that is that I hadn't uploaded in four, three, four months. I was like, oh, I am not one of these people. Why am I at Creator Day? I haven't uploaded anything in forever. And something that did help ease that was Tahakan was on a bunch of different panels and he hasn't uploaded in 10 months and he was still invited to talk at these things. So that made me feel a lot better, not gonna lie. I couldn't vlog this year. I might include some bits and pieces of what I tried to vlog and you can see in my face how uncomfortable and uneasy that I felt. I just wasn't able to do it and that's fine. I didn't feel that bad for the entire weekend though. Jack and Dean closed the second night of Summer in the City and they referenced a bunch of old sketches that from like six or seven years ago that I watched at the time that they were published and that made me feel super like nostalgic and everything and what really gave me the reminder that I needed about how much that I love this community and you know why I still do this once a year. I don't know it was just a whole mi mishmash of emotions and don't get me wrong I'm glad I went and by the end of it I did feel a little bit rejuvenated and was like oh man I have to do this. I tweeted out actually it was like oh this is my annual I'm gonna be a big successful youtuber and this is gonna be my year phase thing that I go through every time I come back from London and <laughs> Sean just replied to me he was like what if this year it's not a phase? Yeah I don't know I've just I feel a lot better now that I am sitting down and talking to you guys again and that I've watched some old videos and seen how excited and passionate that I am about this whole concept and this platform and the community and I'm a long way from not feeling lost but I am on the road to feeling a lot better and I can take like solace in that. I probably have other stuff I want to say, but hey, that's a video for another time, I guess. I can't thank you enough for watching this if you're still here, and there's gonna be another video up about convention etiquette because I saw and overheard a lot of stuff. All I'm gonna say is YouTubers are people too. Respect them like you would anyone else. And I'm gonna end it at that before I start getting cross again. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.